Jet 24 is your local election headquarters. There is breaking news from Iowa, something no one predicted. The much anticipated caucus results are on hold this hour. This coming after problems with the vote count. The Iowa Democratic Party is citing inconsistencies. They're expected to release the results sometime today after manually verifying them. ABC's Ines de la Cetera has the latest from Des Moines. The approach or Overnight, frustration from campaigns and their supporters. Thank you so much. So listen, it is too close to call, so I'm just going to tell you what I do know. You won! The Iowa Democratic Party not releasing any results, saying in a statement they're worried about quality checks and inconsistencies. And I want to make sure they're very careful in their deliberations. <laughs> And uh, indications are, from our indications, it's going to be close. The holdup raising questions about the new app used this cycle to report results, but the party insisting the problem is not the results of any hack or intrusion. Of course, I'm concerned. I'd like to see those numbers, uh, but I think they'll get them. I mean, ABC News learning officials are now hand counting the results, but the complication is adding a new layer of doubt to an already uncertain primary season. There was no clear front runner in Iowa. Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Pete Buttigieg had all been hoping winning the Hawkeye State would help them break out of the pack. I have a good feeling we're going to be doing very, very well here in Iowa. The Biden campaign indicating they may not trust the party, writing in a statement, we believe that the campaigns deserve full explanations and relevant information regarding the methods of quality control you are employing and an opportunity to respond before any official results are released. And the campaigns are now moving on to New Hampshire, which votes in a week. The Iowa Democratic Party says it will release the results today. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News in Des Moines, Iowa. So for all your election news, tune to your local election headquarters, your Erie.com.